also two terrific finals so far. Next up is men's singles and an incredible seventh world championship final for Lindan. Going for a record-breaking sixth gold medal. He's up against the Olympic bronze medalist Victor Axelsson of Denmark. Well, both these players coming through tough draws. And it is the final now between Lindan and Victor Axelsson. This is the total BWF Badminton World Championships Men's Singles Final. Please welcome the players from China, five times world champion, Lin Dan! And 20 years ago, the championships were staged here in Glasgow. 20 years on, 40 years on from the first, and 20 years on from the second. Can Victor Axelsson make it three gold medals for players from Denmark? Well, in that, this record after record being achieved today, the only player to contest seven finals in the same discipline. Welcome on court. He has we won five gold medals in the Black. same oh, discipline. Red. There's two other red. players who've won full Black five you. gold yep. medals, but that's across two disciplines. Red. Okay. Uh, Thank you. And he equals the longest time between first and last medal. Lindan today, 12 years apart because he's guaranteed a medal by being in the final. His first medal was in Anaheim in 2005 when he was beaten in the final. The only time he's lost a world championship final. The 33-year-old from Longyang near Fuzhou, the capital city of Fujian province. And he, of course, has been world number one. He make it six gold medals. He's beaten the number one seed yesterday. And you can see in the early stages, second round and third round, push the full distance by Emil Holst and then by the European champion, Rajiv Usif. Uh, but he has looked better and sharper in his quarter-final and his semi-final than I think I've seen him all year. Victor Axelsson, well, he was superb yesterday in his semi-final. The 23-year-old from Odense has been a place higher in the world ranking. Spent five weeks in total over three different spells as world number two. Now, he, like his opponents, has had two matches where he's been pushed the full distance. Ueda of Japan in the first round and then in the quarter-final against Chao Tien Shen. He actually had two match points in that second game but was pushed the full distance. And then in the semi-final yesterday, he beat the Olympic gold medalist and the two-time defending world champion. Chen Long, he didn't just beat him. Look at the scoreline, 21-9, 21-10 in just 39 minutes. Well, I was very bold yesterday and said it was the best I'd ever seen him play. This will be the seventh beating between the two players and of the previous six. 
honours are shared. In fact, all five finals today, the head-to-head -head records are equal. And that makes for tremendous matches. The last time that they met was in the quarter-final of this year's All England Championships. It was an hour and nine minutes before Lindan won through in those three games. Well, Schlieben of Austria is our umpire for this. Diraj Gunadre of Mauritius, the service judge. It is only three different nations that have had their flag hoisted after a men's singles final at World Championships. It's only China, Indonesia and Denmark who have ever won Ladies uh, the and world gentlemen, men's singles title. On my right, Lin Dan, China. On my left, Victor Axelsen, Denmark. Victor Axelsen to serve. Level play. The men's singles final. Victor Axelsen, the tall day against the legend. Oh. Well, I can see there's some strapping on the back of one Lindan's leg. <laughs> a little psychological game between the two players in the beginning because Lindan complaining about the Texas and flick serve and Victor showing that he feels that um, it was a little ridiculous that he was complaining. Of course, this is a repeat Two. of the bronze medal Love. match in Rio last year. So it's not surprising there's a little bit of psychological games because Lindan is the two-time defending champion when he went into the Rio Olympics, left with nothing. Yeah. And that will irk him somewhat, I suspect. his left leg that he's got strapping on, I think. Down his hamstring. Yeah. One, two. In the, in the thigh as well. waiting for the master of ceremonies to tell the crowd not to use flashlights. Jonathan and Thomas Stanbaugh. Well, you know Axelson much better than me, obviously, Steen. And he'll quite obviously be a little nervous at the start of this. Two, three. I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're nervous. No, I'm, I'm not that nervous. <laughs> I have to say. Um, I have a feeling that the the match is more or less decided. Actually, I just don't know who's going to win it. Well, I remember when these two men played against each other in the quarterfinal of the Denmark Super Series last year. Victor Axelsson won 21-8, 21-7 in 36 minutes. He destroyed Lundell. But this is a very, very different scenario. Yeah, it is. And as you said, Lindan uh, raised his game to the quarterfinal and the semifinal. Um, got more accustomed to the playing conditions here. Um, and he's gotten off to quite a good start here. This, uh, uh, that one was a misjudge, but um, he's, uh, he's got uh, good defense. Yeah, there's Johanna Axelsen, little sister to uh, Victor. Four. Lindan's 10th World Championships. His first was in Birmingham in 2003. He lost in the last 16 to his coach. Exactly. Jean-Marc Trenger. And he was not satisfied. There he is, the man on the right as we look at them. He was fuming, Lindan. Thought he should have won that match. Ended up winning the gold medal, didn't he? This man, Charles de Winter, beat Wong Chun Han in a thrilling three game final. Four good. Yeah. And for uh, Axelson, it's so important that he uh, maintains variation in his attack. Both in terms of uh, placement and uh, speed and pace of the shot. And that's why I felt then then started okay in, in reading the first three, four smashes. You have to expect Six. that and be ready to um, carry on. are alert to this shot but one thing is being alert to it another is getting it back over we saw Rajiv Usuf doing a good job of uh, retrieving particularly that uh, cross court smash from uh, Lindan but ended up losing the match anyway I 
one of the situations um, that has been marked up by the Danes that um, when Victor can get a full power smash towards Lindan's backhand, the only possible return is a short straight. And of course here we can see he is really, really high on that follow-up and eventually ends up winning the rally. mistake on that corner that's gone long oh. they're both struggling to find the back line at yeah. the moment nine oh And it's gone wide. First time in this opening game where Victor Axelson has been in the lead. Oh, army of Danish fans here in Glasgow. Ten. Nine. Former international Mark Christiansen got a bronze medal in men's doubles with uh, Michael Kelsen. I can't remember the year, but it was back in the what? 80s. To the mid-game interval, Victor Axelsson with a two-point advantage. Okay. The big thing is when you play for the best rig, you have Difficult, Steen. What's the on passing here? There was a little bit of a graze on the knee of Victor Axelsson, and under the rules of international sport, all blood injuries must be treated immediately. Did you catch anything that was said in the? It was awfully difficult to hear, wasn't it? Something about we have um, on court. when he was playing the front court, he should be really ready uh, because Lindan was playing with. Uh, a bit more fast-paced shots than they'd expected, and I, I didn't really catch anything else. Yeah. Can we get some uh, liquid band-aid on that um, knee? Well, the first game 
for 16 years to contest a men's singles final at the Royal Championships since Peter Gaida in Seville in 2001, lost out to Hendro one in the final. But it would be amazing, I mean, a Danish gold medal 40 years ago, then 20 years ago. I'm the sort of person that likes order. Yeah, yeah. And so we would highly, <laughs> hi highly support Glasgow's bit for the uh, World Championship 2037 then. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we've got to remember that not only is this the second time that Glasgow has hosted the World Individual Championships, they've staged the World Team Championships twice 11, as well. Nine. It really is wonderful cooperation Five. between Glasgow City and Babington, Scotland. Down the line. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a big gap in Dan's defense in that uh, side there. But it's not all players that has the weapon to um, to exploit it. Line touch, yeah, please. That was what we saw pretty much in the quarterfinal and the semifinal that uh, Bowling Key and, and someone who they're not that attacking. Uh, in, in their uh, normal style, so they have difficulties uh, exploiting this. Well, it's actually a run of five straight points here. Thirteen down. Nine. Oh, super, super block from the end down. Ten, thirteen. Axels and Lindan has got great length on his shot here, oh. and uh, he's um, sacrificing too much of his Dangerous. balance, in my opinion, when uh, firing these full power smashes. And it's the five time world champion he's facing, and he can't expect every smash to be an outright winner. Interesting to me. 
interesting to me that Lindan, who's usually so steady, looked to me as if he was trying to force it a little too much. Yeah. Yeah, he, he wants to win as well. I mean, he would really like this to take his sixth title. It would be a, a good redemption after not um, being able to defend his Olympic uh, title. 14, 13. We talked about it many times when we watched them then that in my opinion the key to to defeating him is there in his uh, long backhand side there he's got so many good deceptions on him, his forehand in his smash there with the straight smash and then that's going wide oh, it's going good there's a challenge Victor here for Axelsen Victor Axelsen call in it's a question of whether the drift brought it in yeah. enough to catch the line it's a slight possibility it could have taken just the outer side of the line So brilliantly change the momentum a little bit. Play. And how will this unsuccessful challenge affect the play? Yeah, I think the attack too early on in the rally, I suspect. Yeah. It looks like Victor. he's not prepared to run the long distance, uh, Big Tracks, because he's, it's not the first time that he's overdone one of his uh, cross smashes. 15, 14. And that's why I think that Lindan earned himself a couple of points there in the beginning of the match when he got a good hold of the defense. Seven of the last eight points to Lindan. Thank you. Um, I think Axelson needs to get the back court 16, in play. The 14. rear court of uh, Lindan have to risk clearing. That's a good shot. Sixteen. Play. Oh, oh, level. Sixteen. Oh. Yeah, this error there from Lindan. from Lindan. Lindan challenges yeah. goal I think out. Could be right. Oh. Yeah, well it was just a glimpse from Axelson. Uh, One challenge he looked as if it, oh, it was a little bit... 17-16. Worried about that one, Victor. Victor. Quite a bit long. Shuttle. Play. I have to ask. <laughs> Seventeen, sixteen. Attacking play from 
Adam Axelson. 18-16. And now it's four straight points to the day. Fluctuations and fortunes. saw the cross sports smash winner from that forehand corner of Lindan that time straight down the line 17 in fact it was more 18. of a clear down the center of the court almost wasn't it it wasn't really into his deep forehand exactly. corner exactly and that actually gives him a lot of um, court space to work with on the straight smash there good flicker It's in. No, good judgment. That's that's uh that's really cool, leaving that on 18 all. Oh, error on the net shot. Oh, that's a gift for the day. 19 all. So this rally will decide who has a game point. And it's Linda and the five-time former champion. And the reaction after that rally was very, very revealing. Rarely do you see Linda urge himself 19. on as he did here. Game point. Game point saved. And then Daddy's going to make sure that Axelson doesn't get time in the attack because when he gets time, then it's such a powerful attack. Extra points required at 20 all. It's gone wide, and having just saved a game point opportunity, now Victor Axelson has a game point himself. 21, 20. It looked long to me, in which case, game number one to Victor Axelson. Here we go, what does Hawkeye say? It's clearly long. Game, opening game to the Olympic bronze medalist Victor Axelson. First game, 22 20. 22 20. 27 minutes and the opening game to the Dane.
不行，这种球啊，起来就起来。这种啊，他说打得输没办法，你就给他起来高高的给他当对，那在岸边打都可以。Well, the Danish fans in fine voice. No wonder with Victor Axelsen taking the opening game 22-20. But it was very, very interesting to me the fact that Lindan's coaches seemed remarkably relaxed. They seemed to be smiling at him. There was a lot of dialogue between the two. It wasn't all instruction. Play. No. He's been playing well on this far side of the court so far in the tournament, and I think they feel uh, confident. That it was important for Axels, and it could have been really, really difficult for him to uh, get back in this match had he lost the first game. He's playing with the drift now and cannot push his lift and his clear so much to the um, rear court of, of Lindan. And the Danish coaches urged him to go into attacking mode. It's gone long. Yeah. Um, it's very puzzling. We, we saw it. Um, was it one two days ago in the morning session? Quarterfinals, don't yeah. Know. That um, it was like there was no drift. Seventh career final today. Two, for Linda. One. Yeah, that's amazing. But when I look at the stats, then what's amazing is that he hasn't lost a whole lot of matches over his career. No. Oh, that's important. That's a quick release smash, and it keeps Victor Axelsen in balance, and it doesn't give him no that much time to judge where Two, the shot is oh. uh, directed. Very important to use that on this side of the court. What was that? I think it was a cross smash gone wrong. Oh, oh Linda tried a bit of trickery, <laughs> but it didn't fool Victor Axelson at all. And what Three, a superb backhand two. from Axelson. Take a look at this. He outsmarted himself. Yeah. Super shot. That's the sort of shot you were talking about, wasn't it? Yeah. Quick release, stay on balance, just go for angle. There's Henrik, the victor's father as well, looking on, applauding. Yeah, look at that. Following forward, should Lindan get it back? And he's there he is on the left as we look at them. And he's having a little tougher time, Linda, now in the defense oh. because Victor is getting helped by the presumably drift that sometimes call, is not as um, profound as we've seen earlier. Show him, please. Thank you. Wait. 
four, two. Well, Lin Nan needs to be careful here. Yeah, and, and, Five, and soon he'll realize that he can't two. just lift as his coaches urged him to do. Um, at least not as long as uh, Victor keeps his patience. That's gone wide. Five straight points. Six, two. some back shot from the net vulnerable to a second net shot from Lindan three six here yeah, back he goes and there's a little deception on Lindan's shot and that's enough so that Victor comes late character I think Henrik yeah <laughs> yep well played in down yeah, clearly in, in badminton turns inside the back line time when he can leap in the air, Victor Axelsen, then his attack becomes really, really dangerous. The centre line, please. Yeah, he's a tall man anyway. And when he leaps in the air, when he's got his racket Lindan. arm outstretched above him, Lindan. that's coming down from a big height. Thank you. And said this theme, but it, it appears to me that Lindam is a little unsure Nine. what to do next. Yeah, I, I take these two um, um, big, big trickery shot gone wrong as a sign of a little desperation, and I yeah. think, but that's been my opinion all the time that that Victor's head decides this final. Will he be able to uh, hold his nerve? Oh, good dive. Superb. Well, that is a question mark in my mind too, Steen, because I know that you and I sat and watched him. I think it was at the Japan Open where he was leading against Lindan and way up in the deciding game. Yeah. Couldn't convert. It's because it's a little bit hard to uh, to convince yourself that you are actually better than uh, the legend, the uh, winningest player of all time. To, to see yourself as clearly better than him, that's difficult. Yeah. And that sometimes makes you uh, a little bit nervous whether you're going to win or not. And that's, in my opinion, Lindan's chance in this match. Yeah. 
And I know it sounds a little strange to someone, but... Uh, yeah, but I, I agree totally, because I think so many badminton players play the reputation yeah. rather than the man. Yeah. Five. But Axelsson has the advantage in that he has beaten his opponent of yeah. today three times previously. Ooh. Uh, changed the mind. The, uh, line judge. Line judge called it out. Victor was going to challenge. Because uh, of the change of call, it's Lindan that has to challenge. It is out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So Victor Axelson has 11, a six-point advantage here in the second game, having already won the first. Coach is asking Axelsen to keep 11, on five, using variation. And the job for Lindan is to hang in there now. the storm Axelson waited for the right opportunity 12 5 what an angle service over Long run. Run. It. Yeah, I get the sense that Lindan just stopping the pace of that rally. Yeah. Seven. Good Whoa. anticipation in the uh, defense also getting that one. Flick serve. That's too short, the uh, clear from Lindan. And they get punished. Not only too short, but I have to say, I thought that was clever from Axelson because the last couple of winners, he's gone cross court yeah. from his forehand side. They're going straight down the line. Good variation. And as long as he get opportunities Seven. like this, doesn't matter whether it's um, straight across. That's a sign to me that um, tension still could kick in. Yeah, that was loose too. Yeah. That's gone wrong. Yeah. 
And this is what I mean, Lindan, he, he really can't afford these kind of shots here because as long as Victor has this six-point cushion, eight. I think it's uh, unlikely that he gets so tensed. Uh, he experienced it at the Olympic final, playing for the bron uh, Olympic bronze medal final, sorry. One oh, play. brilliant. Well-constructed rally from Lin Nan. Ne next four or five rallies, really, really important. I think uh, Lin Dan has got to uh, get closer. If they just keep exchanging points, I think eventually uh, Victor will loosen up a little bit. Well, the young Dane just has to put the scoreline out of his mind. Play point by point. 9-14. Wait. Now the nine games continue. Whether to change the shuttle or not. Yeah, very important rally in my opinion because it seemed like Victor had become a little bit passive in that rally. Yes, uh, I thought that too. And I don't think it's on purpose. Uh, he's shaking his legs, <laughs> trying to loosen up a little bit. 15-9. Too short. He's not been able to get the correct length on uh, a lot of his shots from the front court, Lindan, and that's unusual. He normally is so good at playing that far side of the court. Look at that. Yes, it was just a leap from the yeah, base position, exactly, wasn't it? Exactly, exactly. Sixteen nine. Then oh. no, nope. long. Then over. Ten, sixteen. Oh, it's quick forward from there. Yeah. Dan. Great anticipation. and he's in survival mode right now. Stiffened up through nerves. Yeah. 11. Yeah. 16. And that's, that's the only thing that can uh, save Lindan, in my opinion. He's not moving, Axelson. Oh! Wow. That 
was a bit of a gift to the Dane, wasn't it? Because I could see exactly what you were talking about, yeah. Steen. Yeah, and no I, fluency in no. that movement. And I, I think the Danish coaches, they need to be telling him off now and telling him, hey, Victor, you're going to win this, so let's do it. Well, Henry Gunnarsson looks very, very nervous himself, former world number two. Four points away from a gold medal at the World Championships. 17, 11. Terrible serve. serve, terrible serve. Good shot. Amazing angle once again from the Dane. Doing what he does best, finding the angles. 18, 11. 11. Oh, yeah, that's good. Again, it wasn't the best of serves this time, choosing to flick. Well, well placed, by Linda. 12, 18. Oh, you don't go winning five world titles, plus 60 more titles globally, unless you've got nerve. That's wide. And Linda, do not write him off. 13. Oh, the lucky neck cord for the Dane, for which he apologises. And absolutely doesn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> he was thrilled to see that go over. 19, but always a courtesy amongst the players. Yep. Two points away from the title. That's another shocking serve. Gets away with it. The day now is struggling with his movement. Yeah. Paralyzed with nerves. We, we saw him at the Super Series final 19. where him and, and Chen Wei, they were almost equally nervous. Yeah. And that's gone long. Challenge. Challenge. At least to get his uh, thoughts together. I suspect the line judge got it right, but we'll await for Hawkeye. Johanna can hardly watch. Here we go. What does Hawkeye say? Clearly long. Good flick serve. It's a little bit risky for Lindan because he could accidentally activate Victor into a, a fast-paced shot. There Superb. It is. Superb from Victor Axelson, and he is on the verge of victory. Four match point opportunities.
Brilliant. Five-time former champion Lindand in the final in two straight games. The coach is in tears. Victor Axelsson is in tears. He cannot believe it. He becomes the third man from Denmark in world championship history to win the gold medal. Their sisters in tears, the emotion, his father. Match won by Victor Axelsen. He held his nerves. 22-20, Yes, what a delighted father, what a delighted family. Oh. He's delighted his fans because Axelsen has grown in stature. No longer is he a man of frailty. He is the best in the world. Oh. It took him a seven Super Series tournament final before he won his first title. But here in the World Championships, he has delivered 22-20, 21-16 in a match lasting 54 minutes. Twenty-three years of age, former world junior champion beats the greatest of them all, Lin Dan, to win the world title. <laughs> the coaches can hardly believe it. The moment of realization. My goodness, what a moment. Let's go courtside with Gail Ems. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Glasgow, the 2017 world champion, Victor Axelsson. <laughs> that sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Yeah, it, it was a dream of mine, uh, you know, to be in the final. I've seen Lindan play for so many years playing the finals here as well. To, to stand here and play him is a huge achievement for me and to actually win a world title is just unbelievable. So thanks a lot for all the support. It has been an honor to play here. Thank you. Incredible support. And we have to talk about Lin Zan. I mean, the great, one of the greatest badminton players, but no problem for you there. So confident. Uh, you know, I was, if you could see me uh, on the inside, I was shaking like a little child. And I was telling Canada uh, a lot of times, especially in the second set, I am so if nervous right now. But we had a plan, and I knew that this feeling uh, would come. But, um, you know, yeah, I can't, you know, Lindan is uh, an idol for me. And so it's just unreal. Uh, I don't want to stand here and speak too much. Well, the crowd here, I think we should show our appreciation one more time. Fantastic support for our new world champion, Victor Axelsen. Well, finding it difficult to express the emotions, quite understandable. Some lucky fan is going to get the racket that won him the world title. Well, coming into the tournament, as he gets congratulations from his sister, his father, the family. Steen was telling me that one of Victor's teammates, Hans Christian Wittinghus, was saying that Victor was in the form of his life. He certainly was. And he delivered. He delivered when it mattered. He held his nerve. And yet he could still hardly believe it. Only the third man from Denmark ever to win the world title. The realization. 
the physical and mental exhaustion. Well, it's an incredible achievement by Victor Axelson. as the players march in for this prize presentation. Steen, I know this, and you being a Dane, is a wonderful moment for all of Danish badminton. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, it's been uh, a while since we had the last uh, Danish uh, world champion. It was in 2009, and it's important for all the... Uh, the uh, volunteers that uh, do uh, a tremendous work day in and day out in Denmark. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our presentation party. Ian Campbell, President of Badminton Scotland. Paul Eric Hoyer, President of the BWF. John Wilson, Managing Director of Total UK. And Anne Smiley, Chief Executive of Badminton Scotland. Well, just to clarify, the last gold medal for Denmark at World Championships in 2009 was mixed doubles. Thomas Leibon and Camilla ruta -Yul. 20 years since the last gold medal in men's singles and it happened to be here ladies and gentlemen in please show your appreciation to our bronze medalists in the men's singles from china chen long two-time world champion for the last two Sun world Ho. championships beaten by victor axelson in the semi-final and the world number one Son Wan ho here Campbell. President of Badminton Scotland presenting Quakes to our bronze medalists. Paul Eric Hoyer, President of the Badminton World Federation, presenting the bronze medals. To so Channel bronze to go with the two golds. And, Son Ho. and a first world championship medal for Son Wan Ho, only the fifth player from his country ever to medal in the men's singles discipline at World Championships. And now the total trophies will be handed to our medalists by John Wilson, Managing Director of Total UK, our title sponsor. And the commemorative scars in the tartan, specially commissioned for these championships, is presented by Anne Smiley, Chief Executive of Badminton Scotland. Let's hear it for our runner up in the men's singles from China, Linda! A seventh world championship medal. Seventh final today. The quake. And that is a record for Presented any player in Campbell. one discipline. Five and time world medal. champion. Former world champion. From the total BWF Badminton World Championships 2017. It's hung around Lindan's neck by Paul Eric Hoyer. 
president of the BWF. And finally, the scarf in this beautiful tartan, presented by Anne Smiley. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner in the men's singles from Denmark, Victor Axelsson! What a moment for Victor Axelsson. And in the absence of his world the first highness, player from his country to win gold the in the men's singles discipline in the 40 so years of the world championships. Only the fourth man in history uh, to go on to win the world championships, having won gold in the world junior championships. The three previous were all from China. President of the Badminton World Federation presents the gold and shakes the hand of our new champion, John Wilson, with the Total Trophy. And to complete the presentations, and Smiley with the commemorative scarf and a kiss for Victor Axelsen. What a week for Victor Axelsen. Ladies and gentlemen, please can I ask you all to stand for the national anthem of our champion, Denmark. Ladies and gentlemen, the total BWF Badminton men's singles champion from Denmark, Victor Axelsson! Once again, congratulations to all our medalists. Thank you very much to our distinguished guests for taking part in the presentations. Piping our athletes out of the arena, the Lomond and Clyde Pipe Band. Well, these pictures, these photographs will be plastered all over the Danish newspapers tomorrow morning. performance today has been some performance all week from Victor Axelsson and a man whose nerve has been questioned in the past 
will not be questioned again. He has delivered when it mattered. So the first three finals going to players from three different nations. We can't possibly now have all five titles going to players from five different nations because the last two encounters are China against Indonesia. Next up is men's doubles, Asan and Saputro against Lu Cheng and Jiang Nan. The two Chinese pairs in the bottom half of the draw and it's the unseeded Indonesians, Asan and Saputro. This is the Total BWF Badminton World Championships Men's Doubles Final! Please welcome the players from Indonesia! Mohamed Hassan, Rian Aron Saputro! Mohamed Hassan and Rian Nagun Saputro. Mohamed Hassan, the defending champion.